In this video tutorial, we're going to look at an interesting website for teachers and students. It's called wiser.me, or just wiser.me. And what this is, is it's a way for teachers to create interactive worksheets, is what they call it. And then students can go and do the worksheets, fill them out, and learn good stuff. Now, some of you may be thinking, oh, this is just digital worksheets. It's taking an established method of teaching and just putting it online. And there may be some truth to that. But I would say that this is more than worksheets. In fact, if you don't want to think of it as being a worksheet tool, that's fine. It's just a way for you to pull together digital educational content for your students to experience and use and participate in. And you can see I'm on the website app.wiser.me and here on the website you can just browse and you can see some community worksheets that are out there that people have shared. Looks like there's a back to school worksheet or activity. Here's one on chemistry. I'm going to go ahead and click on that one and it's going to pull it up and you can see that it is basically a web page. Um, you've got your title and then you've got some instructional information here, in this case an image. But this is more than simply an image. There's some interactive content. So each of these dots you can click on and then put in an answer. So that's what makes it kind of a, a worksheet, a digital worksheet. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put in some answers, although definitely incorrect answers. And then I'll just go ahead and proceed down the page. And notice that there are some boxes here on the screen. You click on the box and then you can decide is it correct lab safety or is it incorrect lab safety. And so uh, this is another way in which this is a digital worksheet. Or again, if you prefer, just think of it as being an online educational activity. Continuing down the page, you can see that uh, there is a matching activity. Okay, so I could match those things up, those, whatever you think the right answers are. You connect the different items using your mouse. Okay, so that's one example, a pretty good example, I think, of the kind of content you can create with Wiser Me. So I'm going to go ahead and get started making my own Wiser Me worksheet. I'll just click Start Now. And if you don't have an account at this point, you'll need to sign up. If you already do have an account, you can click Log In and get started. Now a quick way to sign up is to link it to one of these three kinds of accounts. If you've got a Google account, a Microsoft account, or even Edmodo, just with a click, basically, you can connect the accounts, choose Allow, and from now on, I won't have to remember a login and password. I just sign in with my Google account. That first time you log in, you may get uh, a welcome from an employee of Wiser Me. I just X out of that and just get started. Okay, so my next step, as you can see, is to edit. After that, I will assign this to students, and then number three, I can look at the answers. So those are the three steps involved typically in using Wiser Me. First thing I want to do is put in a grade. So let's say this is for eighth grade, and this is going to be for English language arts. And then I can move on and start creating the actual worksheet. So next, what's my title? I'm going to title this The Parts of Speech. Now it happened to come in in yellow, and honestly yellow is not my favorite color for text. It's often hard to see. And so how can I fix that? I don't see a way to change the font, the color, or the type, or anything like that. The way it works in Wiser Me is you just select a design over here on the right. So if I click back to school and select a background, notice that the background changed. I still have my yellow text, but still that helps a lot. Just changing the background helps. Also underneath here I can click on a color and now I can change that color to be something other than yellow. We also have a font type there and so you can click to change that to a few other font options. There's not your typical you know 500 font options, just a few, but I think it's plenty. So those are some things you can do to affect the look and feel of your Wiser Me worksheets. Next up, once you've got your title in, you can move on and add a task. Now, as you can see, Wiser Me worksheets are very vertical, okay? So first they'll see the title, then what are they gonna experience next? What are the students gonna see next? I need to decide that. How about just some text? So I'll click on text, and I can put in a title for my text, and then put in the body of the text. Something like maybe this worksheet, will help you review the parts of speech. Great. Now notice you also have the ability of recording an audio question. If you click that, 
you can allow Wiser Me to access your microphone and then start speaking. I could say something like, welcome to this worksheet. We're going to use this to review the parts of speech in English. Good luck. Click stop and then just upload it. And that is now attached to my text that I'm about to put onto my Wiser Me worksheet. I'm going to go ahead and click done. And so now you can see my worksheet is starting to take shape. I've got my title, my little welcome with recorded audio. Great. So next up, what else do I want to have in this interactive worksheet? I could put in maybe an open-ended question. So if I click on open question, it pops up with a text box here and I can type in the question that I want my students to consider. So maybe something like make a list of as many of the parts of speech as you can remember. Again, if I wanted to, I could record the question instead of typing it, or do both. Here you can adjust how much space the students get to put their answers in. Maybe just a one-line answer, four lines, or eight lines. I'm going to leave it at the default and click Done. Now with most text-related content that you put into your Wiser Me worksheets, you do have some nice options. If you click on them, even after you've created them, you get back into the editing, and notice you can use these tools here, bold, underline, you can change the font size, you can change the colors of the text, you can even put in hyperlinks, links to other websites and other content on the web. Put in pictures, you know, you can use superscripts and subscripts for math and science. So lots of nice tools here that are easy to miss, but there's some really powerful tools. I'm going to click Cancel. So I've got a couple of elements now added to my nice worksheet. Next up, I could put in some multiple choice questions for my students. Again, you're going to see a theme. I can record the question or I can type it in. Maybe I want to do a pretest to see what they already remember and know about the parts of speech. I could do that here. What part of speech? is the word yellow. Okay, next up, what are the possible answers? Okay, one possible answer is it's a noun. How about a verb? How about an adjective? Now, if you prefer, you can put in images. You could upload pictures, and those pictures would basically represent the answers. If I want more than three possible answers, I just click here to add another. And then finally, before I click Done, I need to select which one of these is the correct answer. In this case, the correct answer is Adjective. So, I click on the number and a little check mark appears. I don't know why it's red. I think it should be green myself, but that's okay. You click Done, and now that multiple choice question is ready for the students to answer. Moving along here in the list of tasks and items that you can add to your worksheet, you can put in some blanks. And what they mean by that is a blanks question, a fill in the blank. Another example of what you can do with Wiser Me is you can click on fill on an image. And that's what I showed you as an example at the beginning with the beakers and the chemistry question. You can upload an image and then add tags. So give me a second to pull an image in and then I'll resume the video. Okay, so I clicked this button to upload an image, and there it is. It's actually an image of text. Uh, I can go in and put in a title, okay, if I would like. In this case, it doesn't matter that much. And then I could put in some instructions. For example, label each of the marked words as, as to the part of speech that it is. So I can put in some instructions there if I'd like to. So next, what I can do is I can just click anywhere on this image. How about on the word people? I'll just click there, a little circle is created, and then I'm going to type in the text that goes in that. So people, that's a noun. Next, I'm going to go to the word new, and I'll click there. The word new is an adjective, so you get the idea. I'm just putting in the correct answers there, and I'll click done. And let's move on to matching. Again, pretty typical compared to the other options that we've looked at, and then just start adding matching pairs. Give me a couple of minutes to finish this part of the activity, and then we'll continue. Okay, so I've added a few of the parts of speech on the left, and then on the right, an answer that matches. Okay, but this could be anything. This could be a math question and the answer. It could be a science equation and the answer. It could be vocabulary words. It could be whatever. Any matching pairs. Now, if you change your mind about any of these, notice what happens when you put your mouse over one of the matching pairs. You can just click Delete Pair. 
If you need more than what you are given, you can just click underneath in the white space basically and it gives you yet another space for matching pairs. Okay, let's say I'm done. I'm happy with that. I just click done. And in this case, I had to click done twice. And now my matching pairs activity is created and added to my worksheet. Next up, we do have sorting. And with sorting, again, we have our typical instructions and title. You can record your question. But underneath that, you can put in a group name, for example, nouns, and then put in an item that falls into that category. So a car, house, a woman, a man, a star. Okay, I could go on and on adding nouns. Next up over here, I could add adjectives, and I'll just put in a few adjectives. And when I'm done, the students will have the opportunity of sorting these items into the proper boxes. I'm gonna click done on that one, and you can see it's added to my worksheet. You can also create a drawing activity. This is kind of fun. So on here, I could put in my title and instructions, and I could say something like, diagram the following sentence. And I could go in and use this text tool to put in a sentence. That sentence will be on the screen for the students, and then they will be able to draw, and you know they can put in the different annotations and things. We've already looked at text, Image is just what you would expect. You can click to do a search for an image and notice it's searching the web for images that can be used just with the click of a button. As soon as you select them, they're added to your worksheet, okay? So WiserMe makes it pretty easy and quick to add an image to your worksheet. You can also put in video. So I'm typing in parts of speech to see if there's any videos on YouTube that match this, and I know that there are. I've used this one in the past. I'll go ahead and click on it. I could preview it if I want to, but if I know I want that one, then I can just browse down to the bottom of the section, click done, and I've got, along with my image, I've got my video. Okay, we've got a giant worksheet going here, but that's okay, I want you to see all of these options. Two left that are important, we have link, you can put in a URL and that URL will be embedded into your worksheet and it'll just be a clickable link to take the students to whatever website you link to. There's also embed and this is primarily used for videos but you could also try using it with other things like interactive activities. Notice what they recommend here. Vimeo videos, SlideShare presentations, ThingLink, interactive images, Google Maps, and much more. So you would go to those websites, create or find content that you want to put into your worksheet, and then simply copy the embed code that you'll find on those websites. Paste it down here and then just click done and it should pull that content from the original source and put it into your worksheet. So those are all of the different tasks, the different items that you can add to your WiserMe worksheets at this time. Let's say I'm completely done. Before I set this aside and move on to something else, I need to probably click preview just to get a real sense of what this is gonna be like for the students. There's my worksheet with the title. I've got my recording and that's a, a nice welcome to this worksheet. Next, make a list of as many parts of speech as you can remember. Okay, so the students would go in, noun, verb, article, maybe adjective. They get to experience that and type that in. Notice that they can also record their answers. Just like you as the teacher can record the question, the students could record their answers. And they just click the button, then they click the second button. You know, I can remember prepositions, nouns, adjectives. They click stop, and then if they like it, they click upload. And so they can record their responses and send those automatically to you as the teacher. What a cool feature that is. Next up, my multiple choice. What part of speech is the word yellow? That is an adjective. Now, if they put in the wrong answer, it's going to let them put the wrong answer in. And it's not really going to notify them right away that that's the wrong answer. Next up, fill in the blank. This one's pretty tough without knowing what the sentence was to begin with, uh, but that's okay. Next up, we've got the word cloud, and notice that it took out my correct answers. So the students just click, and then they type in. Let's say they put in the wrong answer, okay? It, it's gonna record whatever they put there. And then I'll go over here, put in noun, okay? So you get the idea. Moving down, here's the matching activity, okay? We've got the sorting activity. So this one is a noun. 
this one is an adjective. So as you click and then choose which category it goes into, it sorts them for you. Moving down to the drawing board, you can see my drawing is there and the text that I put in, but the students now will be able to draw and add to that as needed. There's my photo, here's my video, the students will be able to click play and watch that. And so this is what the experience will be like for the students. Honestly, I'm happy with that and I'm excited about how that turned out. So next up, I'm gonna go back to edit and I just need to make sure that I save. Right now, this doesn't really have an autosave. So you do have to be careful and make sure that you save often. So I'll click save, it's saved it. And now it's time for me to move on and assign to students. And what I need to do is I need to name this group of students. Maybe this is just gonna be my fourth grade class or maybe it's going to be first period or maybe it's all of my language arts students. I'll just put in language arts, eighth. Okay, so that's the name of this group of people. Okay, next up, how am I going to assign this to students? I could share it on Google Classroom. And if you haven't seen my video about Google Classroom, you really need to do that. But this would make it so that it links it to Google Classroom and it posts it as an assignment for the students to complete in Google Classroom. You can also share on Edmodo. You can use a pin code to get students enrolled into Wiser Me and to take the activity and fill it out. You could embed this activity on another website if you prefer, or you can just share a link with the students. Anybody that clicks that link will be able to experience your worksheet, experience the activity, and complete the work. Notice that right now it's open to students. Anyone that clicks that link will be able to add your class. They'll be part of this group, part of this class, and any worksheets that you assign to them, they will be part of the group and able to do the worksheet. Okay, so I'm gonna copy that link, click OK. Notice that you can lock the activity after a time. Once the due date has passed, you could lock it, you can unlock it, you can also archive. Now notice, they do have an option here for automatic feedback to students, so that you don't have to give feedback yourself. You could just do immediate feedback. It's automatically given to the students, at least for the auto-check questions, the ones that definitely have a right or wrong answer. Okay, so that's an option. Great, I'm gonna turn that on and I'm going to X out. Now let's look at the answers button here at the top. This is where the student answers will appear once they turn in their assignments. Okay, and to help you see what this looks like, I'm going to exit Wiser Me. I'm gonna go here and log out. Okay, so now to see the student experience and what it's like for them, I'm just gonna create a new tab and I paste in the URL that was generated when I created this activity, this worksheet. Now, there is a little bit of a delay. You have to give Wiser Me a few minutes to actually finish compiling your digital worksheet and posting it online. But within a couple of minutes, that link should be a usable, workable link, and the students will be able to do the activity. And I'm just gonna click a few answers here so that I can then submit my work, and you'll see what that's like. Okay, so I've put in a few answers and I'm gonna go down here and click save so the students can save their work and then when they're ready, hand in work. It gives them a prompt to go back and check their work, but if they don't want to do that, they can just click hand in work. The assignment's completed and they immediately get feedback. Now, signing out again, I wanna show you now what that work looks like, that submitted work. What does it look like to the teacher? So I'm gonna log back in as a teacher Go to my worksheets here in the upper right. There's the parts of speech worksheet and I can click on it. If I need to, I can make some edits, but right now I'm interested in the answers. So I'm gonna leave that page and go to the answers and you'll see that there is one response. And now I can go in and review the students' submissions, the work that they did and turned in. So that basically is Wiser Me. It's a way for you to create an interactive educational experience that's posted on the web Students can participate in that experience, submit their work, and then you receive it and can grade it. You can think of it as worksheets or you can think of it as creating an interactive online web page or activity. Either way, I think it's a very useful tool for teachers. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more video tutorials about technology for teachers and students and watch for a new video at least every Monday.